It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1683, recorded Thursday, July 12th, 2018. Stink Geek. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, we head on over to the sweet, sweet event, Tech and Toys. We take a walk in a balloon park, and I have my crappy corny gadget. All next on the Giz Whiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Giz Whiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, lead operator of gadgets, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great myself. Doing really, really good. Good. Yeah, Are you all sure. set for Amazon Prime Day? Oh, my gosh. Bend down the hatches. Prime Day is soon to be upon us. It, it's um, almost becoming a chore because every day I get, are you ready for Prime Day? Here's how to get ready to Prime Day. Think, even Consumer Reports sent out like, five paragraphs of things you should know about prime day i thought it was you saw uh, a low price and you said okay I'll, i want that no um uh -uh. yeah no, you got to prepare you got to you got to drink <laughs> some power energy drinks um yeah. make sure that your clicking finger is is all uh stretched <laughs> Oiled. and ready yeah, to go exactly. yeah exactly um, oh my god uh, i've been kind of underwhelmed by the past prime days to be honest i yeah I go on uh, I and one make... thing this week, you know, yeah. they, they do a daily thing yeah. leading up to it. And they had a six USB uh, charger thing from Anchor. Um, it was like $22 or something. It was like just $7 off. But See, I, I don't I, know if I'm getting like more like I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to curb the cravings, the gadget cravings. But unless if it's something that I have actively already thought about getting, like like an anchor battery, I'm in the market for a new anchor battery. If I don't see an anchor battery show up, I'm not going to get all the extra, you know, sneakers and socks and all that stuff. Like, it just doesn't appeal. Um, and yeah. I, it's like, I don't need a gigantic TV or like any of that stuff. Now, if you're ever in the market for... Amazon gadgets like, yes, the, Am yes, like yes. The, the echoes or the tablets or the shows or anything prime day is the day to get it and early you have to wake up way early because they put their fire sticks on super discount they put the echoes on super discount you can get phones and all sorts of stuff uh, that Amazon makes at an awesome discount but yeah and, and also you should check uh, other websites because a lot of the other websites put things on sale too to compete with Amazon, knowing if you'll. I, I, someone, was it you, Chad, that said that sometimes uh, Google will put some of their devices on sale to compete with what oh, yeah. Amazon is doing? Exactly. So if you're looking for a, a, a mini Google Home, Prime Day might be a, a chance to see what they're selling for. Exactly. Exactly. Um, it's crazy that they've created <laughs> this this excitement around their own little Black Friday. Um, you know, three, it four is. years it ago, is. it didn't seem like it was this big of a deal. Well, oh, three, four years ago, wasn't everything Woot? Yes. Remember? Oh, my Woot? gosh. Woot John, John, over, John Selena over at uh, Twit uh, used to, I think, design a program that would... Uh, help him get into yeah the woot that the early that yeah, day yes. yes early that day yes because you could cancel up to like three minutes after purchasing or something like that <laughs> and 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 there was there was actually waves because you would get that first wave and you'd grab it and then you knew that some people would cancel out or it would leave their cart so you oh, could get yes, that yes. second wave and stuff like that um scooter x is sending over a resource the wire cutter wire cutters uh blog website review service that i've used a lot 
they take a lot of ga of the same type of gadgets and they narrow it down to kind of the best one. But they're also yeah. really known for, for deals, for keeping an eye out on deals that you should get. And so they have a, uh, a list here, wirecutter.com slash deals. So you can... Oh, that's good. Yeah, you know, I've been over there a couple times. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, they do this uh, quite a lot. Ooh, a Mavic. Uh, Mavic Pro for almost 100 bucks off. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah. Except you I, need the other 800 to get it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and this is kind of what I mean. It's like I'm not, in a, I'm not in the mood for... I don't need towels. You know, I don't... I don't need a, what is it, tweezers? What are these? <laughs> tweezers. Uh, tweezers. You know, this is what I was yeah. really looking for on Prime Tweezer Day. Man, tweezers. tweezers. Um, this, I don't know if I've just grown old or... Uh, it's just, it's not, well, this is also, like... I think you already have a lot of crap. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly correctly. Correct. Yeah, yeah, um. exactly. I mean, I, I also would, you know, like that climbing harness. Uh, I, if I see something that just looks weird and I figure not too many people know about it, I just buy one to have it for the what the heck is it uh, yeah. contest. Yeah. Uh, but probably not going to buy anything during Prime Day because millions of people would have seen what it was. What is this? This just looks like an app. Somehow they're selling like a... Oh, you know, oh, that, that's right. Because Wirecutter doesn't only just... Uh, do Amazon Prime Day. This is this is deals. Oh, for, it does everything. Yeah. It does everything exactly. So I guess they're showing a lot for Prime Day. But okay, well, right. uh, you okay. Had a big, so big every week. July there's an event called Sweet Sweet. No one I asked. I think even one of the PR people wasn't quite sure why it's called Sweet Sweet. <laughs> But it's toys and tech. It takes place on Chelsea Pier. And what was interesting this year is that to enter the event, it's a real fun event. To enter the event, they you could cheat and walk this little walkway. But the more fun thing was to go into their Pop Insider balloon walk. Oh. I'm trapped in a bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> so this is was really kids had a great kids kids could go to this thing they had to be with uh, a blog of parents a lot of blogging people, but this was wow. super. How big is how like it looks like there's it, balloons it, all the way it, up to it, the it, ceiling. It, it, it was oh it was it was huge and then it had these nets keeping them in and it was about a hundred feet up. <laughs> there I am. Look at how big the balloons are. That's crazy. And then I, I vanish again. <laughs> and then you go through the spear balloons. They're urchins. And then this They're guy's like probably looking urchins. for his... I think he's looking for his kid. Where's my kid? <laughs> it was in a lab experiment. Oh, my God. It was great fun. You came out clean. It was really yes, just a, a way to yes. wash all of the, all of the <laughs> bloggers. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that, that was great fun. Uh, so well, the first thing we saw were... These new, the, the company, let me use the, the exact name of the company is called Arcade One Up. And they are building slightly scaled down real arcade games. And um, they had the wall furthest out on the pier, which was behind it was the sun. So everything we shot was so <laughs> black, but it didn't matter because from T uh, from E3 did you see these at E3 Chad I didn't see these at E3 yeah, I did okay. see e some e tiny itty bitty uh, arcade cabinets but I think that's that was what we covered earlier the yes, world's yes, tiniest yes, exactly. so it exactly. wasn't these guys so we'll, we'll see what these are and then I'll tell you the what some of the things the PR person said that I was just hysterical <laughs> But he didn't mean to be funny. Anyway, let's watch the video of these new semi-mini arcades. Game. Hey nice guys, logo. what's going on? We're here at E3, and uh, thanks for joining us today. Let me show you Arcade 1UP. Very, very cool. So what you're looking at here, these are real actual arcade games. Like, uh, I don't know how old you guys are, I'm 49, but so when I was a kid, when I was 14, 15, I used to play Asteroids, and I used to play Centipede, Street Fighter, and all this stuff. And they were pretty cool, but when I went to the arcade, they were six feet tall, right? And if I wanted to buy one for my house, they were three Gs, and but they were cool because you had the arcade experience. So what we did is, we made them a little bit smaller. It plays like the exact real game. You pick your favorite character, right? I'm sitting down because I'm too old, I don't want to stand that much longer. <laughs> and uh, as I start to fight here, come on guys, start up. But it's the real deal. 
It's a real control panel, just like they had in the games, right? What's really cool is, so we use a 17 inch screen and um, the box, rather than being six feet tall, it's 48 inches tall, right? And it's also, rather than weighing 300 pounds, it only weighs 60 pounds, so you can move it around your house pretty easily. If you want to stand, when you stand up and play it, just like this centipede right here, what's really cool about this is the distance from the top to the bottom when you add in, I'm sorry, you had to add in a little riser, right? So you put it on top of a riser that we sell separately, and now the control deck is exactly the same height as it was in the real game that was $3,000. So you basically get a $3,000 machine at your house for $300, $400 retail. And we got some great stuff coming out. Um, be on the lookout. There's some secret games that are going to launch in November, December of this year. Games. Go to GameStop, go to Target, go to Best Buy, go to Walmart, go to anywhere you can. Get these games. They're really, really cool. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah. So, yeah, they. they uh, so he does a demo and we, we had done this video and uh, I said, you know, I, I live in a two and a half room apartment. He said, these are ideal for a two and a half room apartment. He said, and they only weigh 63 pounds. So if you have a house, you play in the living room and then you carry it into the den and then you play some more and then you carry it out to the pool. And then he You're said, like and then what? When the kids go back to school, they can take it with them. You're like, I, I'm not the target demographic here. Uh, <laughs> this guy must live well, in can Dallas you, can you and have imagine, a family. Tell the, uh, hey, son, so you have your tablet. You have, <laughs> Do you your, have your, you your arcade have your, you, cabinet? You know, yeah, you, you know, bring you that? Arcade. Oh, you can take both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, there, it's, a, it's a, I would say it's a little larger than an iPad, a itty bit larger than an iPad. You might, it might have a little bit of trouble putting that in your backpack. Oh my God. No, it was so funny. And, and I, I made a joke. I didn't even get it. I said, I said, you know, the world's smallest, I have the world's smallest arcade game. I said, I barely have room for that, but he still <laughs> insisted I could fit one of these. Yeah. I don't um, think he knows how anyway, small New York apartments actually are. Yeah. No. So I do know that people who oh. have big houses do buy arcade games for sure. And, and, and so also, this, there, there's always the want that you are going to be able to impart what happened in your childhood and give it to your children to enjoy during their childhood. So this is like the perfect, perfect thing for a you know, middle class dad to buy for their kid in their little game with, room. With a, per with a perfect excuse. Right. It's right. He said, small. you know, son, I bought this so you can see the joy I had when I was a child. And the kid says, yeah, well, we've had it for six months and there's never been a minute when you weren't playing it. <laughs> exactly. Do I do I ever get a turn? But you can see the joy that I had you see, when, seen the joy. when you I was a child. You learned by watching. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, I, I do think I was worried the first time I saw it. I was thinking this is only for kids, you know, but then when he sat down. It was like, ah, okay, that, that makes it, sense, is that you can sit down, play it sitting down, um, and, and it all works out. It's expensive, but it's kind of in the range of, like, what I would assume um, those uh, power wheels are. You know, it's a big, big item that you pick up at Target or Toys R Us, rest in peace. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, and, 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 you know, that's a big mechanical thing. That kind of was in that range, that price range. So yeah, uh, yeah, they're four, the, like three hundred ninety nine dollars, right? As opposed so, to the real ones, which are like four thousand bucks, right? Uh, but anyway, um, the link to the website is there, and they're coming out in the fall, and it's going to be five machines, and each machine plays three and four. Oh, there you go. Yeah, if you go to their website, you'll see what they look like. They're slightly different heights. And as uh, you saw in the video, they do make a riser that you can buy if you want to stand <laughs> at the machine or you can just sit at it. So, yeah, I think yeah, it's adorable. Pretty neat. I, I think it's pretty nice. Neat. I, I hope pretty that neat. there isn't a, uh, a group of people who think like, oh, it's it's not the real experience. You know, this seems. Like oh, uh, I'm sure there will be uh, yeah, the people but... who wish they had it and don't have it. We'll say that. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> right. Exactly. It's or the people nice, who invested three thousand dollars in the large one. <laughs> yes. Oh, but that's not. That's not right. That's not a good. Anyway, 
I like it. Arcade One Up. That's adorable. Arcade and, One Up. Uh, cool. and the, the company is called Taste Makers. Uh, our second uh, gadget is from Spin Master, and they have a little AI robot, and this is uh, it's called Boxer, and here it is. Hello, I'm Boxer. That's this guy. And hello, I'm Dick D. Bartolo. And hello, you're Lauren. I'm Lauren. Nice to meet you. Lauren, what is what is this guy? He's so cute. So this is Boxer. He's our AI robot with big personality. So he's got sensors on the front of him, on the top, and on the back of him so that he can follow your fingers and he can play tricks and games oh, and do wheelies ow. just like this. And if he flips upside down, I'm going to get him to flip upside down, he can write himself back up again. So let's see if he can do it. Come on, Boxer. Come on, buddy. <laughs> he's oh. going, what is he's my life? <laughs> he knows oh, he's, he's trying. trying. He's, Look, he's crying. crying he's I can't down. get up. I fall and then I can't get up. He can flip himself back over. All right, well, tell me how much oh. Boxer, oh, did Boxer shut oh. down? Boxer. <laughs> what is Boxer going to sell for? Boxer $79.99 and is available August 1st. August 1st, okay. August 1st. And the, these little guys are? So these are his little tricks that he can do. So you would just line him up. Let's see if he'll do it. You line him up and then it gets him to code the trick in. This is uh, their video. Of their the video. I figured that uh, that uh, if he wasn't behaving, I would show you that he is cute. So there are ten of those cards, and when he runs over the card, he plays different things. <laughs> so he does, he also has a remote control. He has a remote control. Interesting. This reminds me so much of that other. AI. Oh, was it was it like Wally? Yeah. What was that guy's name? Something. But but that was I think a hundred and fifty. Yeah. You've yep. got to get him when he's in the mood to do it. <laughs> I see. Okay. Uh, August first. And uh, what's the website? Uh, Spinmaster.com. Oh, Spin we know Spinmaster. Uh, he's Say bye boxer. Bye boxer. Oh, oh. saved him. <laughs> Okay, so he's. I, I was hoping that the chat room would come through because I can't. Yeah, chat room. Who was that little guy w w that looked like Wally? Oh man! Uh, anybody remember him? It was about two years ago, right, or possibly three years yeah. ago. Yeah, and I've I've seen it around. Um, he in, probably in should be like running on sale soon, but he was very expensive. <laughs> yes. All right, oh, I think it was man. yellow. Yeah, and I actually, I think we filmed them at CES or something three or four years ago. Um, anyway, okay, so that's going to be from Spin Master. It's not on their website yet. Uh, the press release says Cosmo. Fall. Cosmo. Oh, Cosmo, that's it. There Cosmo. We go. Cosmo. Um, Anchors Cosmo. Okay, yeah. thank you. Who is that bleak? Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, Cosmo came came in a very yellow packaging. Yeah, um, and uh, Cosmo was he's still one hundred and seventy nine dollars. Now he does a lot more. Yeah, I think uh, so. Uh, and it's it seemed yeah. like he was a little bit more animated. But this guy, this little thing for seventy bucks, that seems yeah adorable and awesome. It, it it is very cute. Yeah, it would be eighty. I think she's at seventy nine ninety five. Yeah, and also. Um, uh, the person there, she said that she's only been with a spin master for a couple of months, but I, I think the robot was misbehaving also. Uh, so that's why I wanted to drop in a little bit of that reel so you can see that he's quite cute when he runs around. Awesome. Um, spin that's it. That master is, is a pretty big oh my brand God. name. Oh my God. Soggy so. dog. Soggy dog. Soggy dog. Spin master does a lot. Oh, logo, the logo game mm -hmm. that we play mm -hmm. on, uh, I uh, guess his PM. Okay, and our final guy, something I, I I never expected from Wowie, like a board game kind of thing. Uh, so this is it. Okay, here we go. We're at Sweet Sweet. God, what is that smell? Oh, it's Dave. Hey. <laughs> it's oh, Dave. Dave with what's that smell? Okay. So what is What's that smell? It is the party game that stinks, Dick. 
<laughs> I say, oh, just like the podcast. We're, we're cousins. And, uh, you know, we're at Sweet Sweet, but I'm smelling something. It doesn't really smell very sweet. Can you guess what that smell is? What's that smell, Vic? Oh, old cheese? Well, it's kind of close. It's garlic. garlic. I should have gotten that as an Italian. I should have gotten well, that. We've been playing here for a little <laughs> bit, and you've been doing pretty good. I mean, you kind of knocked a couple of these right out. But All right, is, so how many smells do you get in a game? You get 48-cent cards, and they range from nice and tasty to a couple of them are nasty. <laughs> but, you know, there's everything from leather to vanilla to roses to pineapples and on and on. There's thousands of smells. When you well, how, ma how many times can you brush the thousands, car? Thousands. Thousands of, you can do that thousands of times. I wouldn't scratch it real hard. You just give it a nice little rub. Brush, and uh, then you just come up and put your, your nose and you'll see if you're the one who knows it all. <laughs> Okay, now, are, are, are the bad smells mixed in? Many puns. Bad smells are mixed into these cards, but then the loser has to smell one of these really bad cards. These are the Whiff of Shame cards. Extra <laughs> what are they called? The whiff, whiff of, of shame. shame. Whiff of Shame. <laughs> There's a diaper blowout, extra oh. old toe cheese, yeah. smothered in B.O., uh. and hot chunky vomit. So oh, you see, we kind of have them under yeah, yes. Well, kids will, kids will like this. Absolutely. <coughs> we say it's for 14 and up. It's almost like a party game, but we know kids are going to get their hands on it. Is it out now? It comes out on Amazon Prime Day on Monday for $19.99. Under 20 bucks. Yes, under $20, and then it'll be out at Walmart and Target in uh, the beginning of August. Pretty neat. Yes. Uh, what's that smell? The party game that stinks. The keyboard told the Giz was here at Sweet Sweet. Bye. I could see that becoming a YouTube sensation with a whole bunch of oh, YouTubers I, playing that. Oh my yes, gosh. Yes. And, yeah. and, and I watched a little video on, on their website. It's like complicated. It's, it's like there's papers and uh, you, you take a smell and you fill out your sheet and then you pass it on. And then there's a little column that did the odor remind you of anything? <laughs> and then the, the sheets get graded to see who, who got the most. And the loser has to do one of those whiff of shame cards. <laughs> Uh, but you're right, as a party game and young kids are probably going to love it. And also under 20 bucks uh, yeah. That's is, good. Is, a, is a good price point. I like that. And for Wow We, we've known them for, as kind of the like almost tech. Uh, oh, like my gadgets. gosh. Like, wow. Like, the, they do it's very strange like, for them. Yeah. But, oh, yes, they do. They, they do. Robots. Uh, these finger, these little puppets for fingers, and the AI vehicles that do a lot of robots. Um, what's that smell? <laughs> what's that just, smell? That is just such a funny. Uh, That's a funny idea. Isn't yeah, it? very funny idea. Very good. Okay, but, well, I, I okay, can't wait. To be honest, I want to. <laughs> I want to record some videos about what's that smell. What's that smell? Um, okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that means it's time for. Whoa. Yo, you don't need it. Ooh, ha, it's playing. You might want it yeah. Yeah. Correctly. It's crappy corn. Get it. Okay, so we are moving on with clearance month. Things found on the clearance aisle. Um, I found this little guy at Walmart of all places. It is the I Expand Base, and I recorded a video of it a little bit earlier, so let's take a look. Hey Diggity, so we're here with the clearance gadget of the week, and this is the I Expand Base from SanDisk. You can see that it was 50 bucks. No, it was only 25 bucks. The idea here is that this is a charging base for your phone, but while your phone charges, it will also back up important data like photos, movies, and contacts. This is what the inside of the box looks like. It's actually really nicely packaged and really nicely put together. There's a nice metal base here 
and uh, a normal power cord. Uh, it does not come with your charger, so you do have to supply cable, your own uh, lightning cable, and this is only available, at least from what the box says, for iPhones. Uh, and then on the back, you have where your charging port will go, and then also a disk drive. Not a disk drive, an SD card slot. With a 32 gigabyte drive already in there, which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug this all together and get it all set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so the base is all set up. Uh, the bottom, the cord here wraps around a whole bunch. This is the normal three foot cord. So uh, it leaves a nice amount for you to go ahead and plug in your phone. This is the first time I'm plugging it in. So let's see what it says. It's back, It's back. it backs up, it charges. You relax, okay. So now we need to allow it to see all of our photos. I can see that this charger is like sliding around. So we're gonna go ahead and allow that. Uh, contact access, so this is the other thing that it's gonna back up. And then send me notifications, sure, of course. Okay, so it should scan for photos and then back it up to the SD card. Let me just let this run and show you after it's run for a bit. Okay, so it took about uh, seven to 10 minutes to completely scan all of my files. And now it has uh, 16,137 files uh, that it needs wow. to back up. So that might take a little while. Uh, I did, just to test this out, it comes with a 32 gigabyte drive. I switched this out for a 128 gigabyte drive and it actually already had some uh, usage on it because I was using this for like uh, drone footage. So uh, it, what's nice is it didn't ask me to reformat um, and then it also uh, is just using the uh, full available space. So that is a nice thing to know. Um, so far, I mean, that's kind of the end of the review. It's working. The app works. Uh, it seemed to be working even with the phone um, asleep. I, I had uh, left it asleep while it scanned, and I came back, and I had almost fully scanned everything. Um, so not a crappy corner, really. Just a pretty okay um, gadget from the... Uh, clearance aisle. So this was the iExpand base for iPhones, and uh, I say it's a pretty good review. Back to you guys. So uh, I've had a little bit more time with it, and uh, the moment that you plug in your phone, the my phone can tell that it's plugged in. It sends you a little notification that it's working in the background um, to back up all of your photos. It would obviously take a very long time, the first few times, to back up um, all the data, and I did notice that it did it in chronological order. So it started backing up stuff yeah. from 2014 uh, in the beginning, and so um, it does that. Once it kind of has a whole bunch on the on the uh, drive already, it'll show you a preview of uh, what's on there. So to be honest, not a bad product. Um, I have so many photos and so many videos um, that it would probably take a very long time and I probably I have a 128 gigabyte card in there right now I probably have to move up to a 256 Possibly even 512 uh, To make sure to get everything um, But I was worried because at the top it says 32 gigabytes right up there So I was worried that it would basically max out at uh, 32 I tried to do some research to find out what the max actually was and I couldn't find out um, it wasn't on the box and I couldn't find it anywhere online. Um, but, and yeah, and this is a 256 gigabyte phone. Um, so at least 128 gigabyte, that's not bad. Another thing is I didn't realize how good of a deal that I got because I searched around hoping to find something similar uh, in price, but it's still priced oh, at whoa. $57 on Amazon. And that is about the price oh. all over. Oh look, they wow. sell a 256 gigabyte version for $124, so it'll at least go up to 256 gigabytes. Oh, there you go, yep. Um, I would definitely not get this. <laughs> you can buy a 256 gigabyte SD card 
uh, for less expensive than the $70 that uh, the price increase. Um, and, sorry, SanDisk. I know this is your product and you want us to buy SanDisk <laughs> SD cards, but uh, you could do that a lot better. I also really did like the cord management. I didn't, I wanted to just reiterate that. Um, is that basically you wrap the cord around the base a whole bunch of times. So you just yeah, use your cord. Nice. Um, and it, it, I think that it was a really nice um, solution for that. This is not a wireless charger. It kind of looks like one, but it's not. It's just a place to set your phone uh, on top of. So that's my review of the SanDisk. I expand base. The apps seem to work fine. The actual base is still plugged in right here. Uh, is kind of classy, nice, nice material, and uh, works just iPhone, great. iPhone only. iPhone only. That is yeah. a big downside, is that it is iPhone only. It even says it on the back, uh, iPhone and iPad. And then it says also on the box, is iPhone only. So sorry, That's Android neat. users. <clears throat> Pretty good, though. Nothing, nothing right now. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi doesn't have either of those, Eternal Aussie. It is just through the lightning cable. Uh, so it doesn't have any wireless options um, at all. Yeah, there's not even FCC information on the back, so it doesn't do anything like that. So yeah, nice, nice. I thought this was a pretty good clearance thing. I was, I, yeah. I expected, I, I didn't expect it to be so good. I actually expected, oh, look how crummy this app is. Look how crummy this product is. Turned out to be pretty good. You never know what you're gonna get in the clearance. Oh, you aisle. know what, uh, what was your thing last week? It was uh, the um, uh, the security the camera. Security camera, yes. Right, but micro. What was the place you got it? Micro Center. Uh -huh. Micro Center. I, I I found it online, and they still have some of them, but they're not enough of them for it to be available online. But it said uh, in store purchases only. So if you oh. liked, you hated that thing, right? From yeah, I didn't like it so yeah. much. No, don't don't bother. Don't go looking for it. Exactly. This one, though, hey, if you can go find it, SanDisk, I got mine at Walmart. So if Walmart may have just cleared them out. Uh, so Walmart is a good place to, to look if this seems like a gadget that, uh, that you like. Okay, Perfect. moving on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy When gadgets pass away He takes them out to play In Dick's Gadget Warehouse Our horn. And our letter is from a second time viewer sender Adam Jakowenko Jakowenko J-A-K-O-W-E-N-K-O uh, And it is The email says Hi Dick and Chad A month ago you mentioned the tile tracker You guys were talking about other tracking devices Wish that there was one for a wallet There is I use Ooh. it By pure coincidence it Turns out to be also Oprah, One of Oprah's favorite things But that's not why I bought it uh, And here is Adam's video Hey, Dick and Chad. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite gadgets. You were actually talking about this about a month ago, uh, looking for a device uh, that would help you find other devices like the tile tracker, uh, but that was maybe one that was like a credit card that fit in your wallet. And so here it is. It's called the Orbit, O-R-B-I-T. Uh, it fits right in my wallet. It looks exactly like a credit card. It actually is the same size, width, shape as a credit card, fits right in with my other credit cards, and it actually um, helps you do two things. It helps you find your wallet from the Orbit app, which you can see on my screen here, or you can find the phone from the card. You can do either. You can also use the card to take a selfie from a remote distance. So it actually has three functions. So you'll notice when I open the app, um, it tells you exactly where you are. So it uses your uh, map location to tell you where you are. It tells you your battery life at the bottom here. Uh, my battery is running a little low, but this charge on this card lasts for at least a couple months. It's very, very good. Uh, I haven't charged this in a couple months, so I'm running a little low now. 
Uh, but you can see there's a little two pin uh, connector right here. There's a little clamp connector, the proprietary charger that comes with the Orbit card. That's how you charge it. Uh, it takes maybe, I don't know, four or five hours to charge. And then once it's done, uh, it's good to go for a couple months. I just stick it in my wallet. Uh, when I want to see, make sure it's still working, I open the app and it, see, it actually can see that it, it actually just saw me now, shows me the battery life. And if I hit the Find Orbit Card button at the bottom of the screen, it will actually... Uh, make this card beep and it's fairly loud. It actually is one of the things that Dick was talking about where sometimes the devices um, that are smaller or thinner don't make very much noise, but you'll notice I'm gonna hit the fine card. So this is very loud. I can hear this inside my wallet from quite a distance away if it was stuck under the couch or something like that. So I'm just gonna stop that. And then, um, <laughs> I don't want me to rate it. So, all right, not now. So that is one thing it can do, which is great. If I lose my wallet, I actually have uh, used this a few times for that. The other thing it can do is there is a little fingerprint button on the card itself. And if you hit that, it will actually ring your phone. So it rings the phone so you can find your phone from the card. So if you lose your phone, I just pull out the card and hit the button on the card. And the last thing it can do is at the very top of the screen, you'll see at the top right, there's a little camera icon. It will go into selfie mode and you can use the same button on the card when it's in the camera mode to remotely snap pictures. So you can put the phone far away and mount it and use this card to just take pictures with it. So those are the three things it can do. Um, it has various settings on it for sound, vibration. Uh, you can change the ringtone. Uh, that you want for it. So there are some settings there. Uh, and I have found that it is extremely useful for either a lost wallet, a lost phone, uh, or uh, for taking selfies. So uh, it's one of my favorite gadgets that I've uh, discovered recently. So it is the Orbit. Uh, and in case you're wondering, because people have asked me, uh, the app I use for recording this is called uh, AZ Screen Recorder. So I pulled it up just so uh, you could see in case people were wondering what that was. Uh, so that's it. I hope you enjoy. Perfect video. Perfect Wasn't video. Wasn't that good? And and that of course, awesome. uh, it, it's vertical because uh, that, that's what they, the the way the app is set up. Yeah. Uh, that is really great. And he said, I forgot to mention in the video that you can, if you always have your wallet and your phone with you together, you can leave the alarm setting on, so it'll let you know if one or the other is uh, going out of range, so you don't leave your phone or your wallet wherever That's you nice. are. Just the fact yeah, that oh, you know, I didn't look up the price. It's awesome. Yeah, and the price isn't that bad. It's uh 40 bucks. Oh, 40 bucks. 40 bucks for an orbit. Well, um I might need to get this. This this orbit is new new to me. It looks like they make uh glasses. They make orbit glasses and you know what they do? <laughs> Maybe it'd be on Amazon Prime. Oh my gosh, Prime Day. This is what I need. Um, yeah. Oh, pre-order. Oh, wait, oh, no, it can't be pre-order because he already ha uh, Adam has his. Yeah, these are just the glasses. Um, yeah. Oh, that's the glasses. Yeah. Oh, all the, all the glasses. I couldn't imagine glasses frames only costing $40. That seems, that's like, that's that's a Warby Parker competitor right there. Yeah. Wait a minute. Um, Orbi glasses are Bluetooth? Uh, no, these. I, no, 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 no. I'm just, no, go I'm just back talking. a minute. Wait. Uh, go, clicking, clicking. Orbi glasses is the world's smallest Bluetooth device. Yeah. So this is this this is it would ring just like the uh, card would ring from your from your wallet. But it rings your entire glasses. Have you ever lost your glasses and just wished <laughs> yes. that, a, that a tile or a tracker or an orbit would be able to oh fit on them? Gosh. This is it's built into the frame, and this is perfect because it, this is you could recharge it. You have the same two pins yeah. that was on the. Uh, so then you would go to your optometrist and have your lenses put in it. I oh, guess. it's a little guy. I'm sorry. No, no, oh, no, Chad. It's, what? it's a device you add to your glasses, right? Oh, is it? I can't see tell. it there on the frame. That looks like it. I don't know. You cannot tell. What is a second. This. I see. Yeah. I'm dumb. I thought that I saw those two. No, dots. I, I thought it, it's it's badly done the way it's laid out. I thought it that, looks that like was the charging. The thing, charging port. No, yeah. it's it's the thing that sits on the inside. I see. 
Oh man. That's still good. You Actually, supply that's... the glasses. Okay, this makes yeah. a lot more sense. And your own eyes. Bring your own eyes. <laughs> and lenses. And lenses. But okay, okay, okay. But but this is perfectly made for glasses as long as you don't have like t- oh, teeny look, tiny. By any four devices, 25% off. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, this is a this is a company got to keep, keep my eye on. Keep an eye on. Yeah. The stick it and find it. Do they also do power banks, looks like? Yeah, the Orbit Power Bank. Interesting. Okay, yeah. great, great video. You've turned us on to a company that we didn't even know existed. And a device that, that, that I like that. Adam, that is really great. You've got a Mad Magazine and another Alfred E. Newman photo. Uh, send me your, if you live in the U.S., I think you do. Uh, if you don't live in the U.S., you'll get an Alfred picture signed to you and uh, a high-res image sent to you. As we sent to Linda, who was the one who told us about um, the Echo not recognizing Gizwiz, and she had sent us a video. Um, and she lives in Canada. She said, Dick, my God, thanks for this. I printed it out. It looks great. Uh, so we need more videos. Adam's video is the last video. Um, we have some more from Mo, but we'd like more new people to send in videos. Uh, anything about a gadget, brand new, brand old. If you have an arcade game in the basement, please make a video about it. Um, and just two to three minutes, do a horizontal mode. Uh, Adam had to do it vertically because of the app is set up that way. Uh, put it on YouTube. I uh, would download it and, and click on unlisted and then send us the URL. And that will go to mail at gizwiz.tv. And if we show you video, and like I said, we show 99.99% of all the videos, uh, you will get a Mad Magazine, whatever the current issue is, and one of those 38, I guess it's 38 now, year old Alfred E. Newman pictures. So we need something for next Thursday. Get Where's your mom? Where's your mom during all this? OMG mom. We're still OMG waiting. OMG mom. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Uh, mail at gizwish.tv. <laughs> <laughs> With that, let's move on to the letter. So our letter is not a letter, an email, and it was a press release. And usually the press releases are just bizarre stuff. But I think this is a very unique gadget. So I thought we would show in in place of the letter there, 57 second video about HDMI cables that light up when you're trying to trace them. Now, now that I have a smart TV, I have like five HDMI sets of cables going to different devices. So take a look at their video. Spotlight HDMI cables from Cavo. Stop wasting time trying to find the right cable. When you plug in the Spotlight HDMI cable, both ends blink at first to show you where they are connected. Next, you'll see a solid light to indicate that the cable is working properly. Anytime you're trying to figure out where a cable is plugged in, just press the button and look for the blinking light. This makes troubleshooting fast and easy. Engineered with pure copper conductors and aluminum alloy outer mold and 24 karat gold plated connectors, the copper wiring is oxygen free and triple shielded to prevent interference. Spotlight HDMI cables from Cavo combine premium performance, superior durability, and show you the right connection instantly. The Spotlight HDMI cable by Cavo is available now at Cavo.com. I like it. I can't tell you how many times I've tried it. Yeah, th- I think they're twenty thing. bucks, which is not bad. No, that isn't no. bad. Oh it's, wait, well, it was thirty dollars for, for, uh, for. Is six, it thirty? Okay. Uh, but, oh, 30, but still, okay. HDMI cables, depending on how cable, yes. you know, like cable yeah. focused you are, they can get very expensive very fast. Uh, what I tend to do is buy a whole bunch at the same time, you know, around around yes. the time that you're like upgrading something in the theater system. Right. Uh, well, Bleak has a solution. Oh. You have to every cable you buy has to be from a different company, so they all look different. There you go. 
Yes. There you go. Okay. So you go. Or tape. But who can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, electrical no, tape. No, nah, who wants tape? No, nah, 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 I want to press a button. <laughs> that's not wanna, a gadget. No, that's, at first that's I thought, well, wait a minute. Don't. If you plug two of them in, they have a white light at each end. What good is that? <laughs> but then I realized when you want it, Put you press button. one end yeah. and the other end starts blinking or both ends start blinking. I think it's very clever. I think it's very clever. Very, yeah. So whatever, uh, whatever PR agency sent that in, that is a very clever. You know, I have an idea that it went up in price. Maybe, Maybe. they knew we were going to do it because uh, for some reason, I think I copied down that they would. They might have been uh, on one for thirty. Oh, they start to drop in price. I yeah. See. So you're gonna get it for yeah. twenty four or yeah, twenty four uh, or fifteen. Yeah. Right. 15, no, a little more, no. uh, about 35 th divided by two, <laughs> carry 1750. <laughs> 17 you can get it as low as 1750 if you need four of them. Wow. Okay. There you go. And you also okay. get free shipping at that price. Yeah. <laughs> they kind of yeah. get you. you. Buy two cables, you're $2 away from free shipping. Oh, I That's... hate, I hate that. <laughs> I, I, I can't stand it. I forgot what company does it. It may even be Walmart. Thirty nine ninety nine free shipping starts at forty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? I know they should ha they should have that little penny bucket that like you see at a convenience store. <laughs> you need a penny, take a penny. Okay, I need a penny yeah. for free shipping, please. Yeah. Uh, very good, very good. Okay, well, I want to give a big thank you to our patrons over at Patreon. Oh my God, yes. Slash Gizwiz. You guys make it happen every single week. Thank you guys so much for your support of the Gizwiz. We really couldn't do it without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys support the show. You guys are amazing. If you enjoy the Gizwiz, please consider joining our patrons over at Patreon.com and uh, giving back a little bit. And once again, sincere thank you to those of you who have been supporting, who have been helping the show along. If Patreon's not your deal, if you don't want to uh, give reoccurring every week, we do have a PayPal link on our website, gizwiz.tv, and go to the Patreon tab, and there's a link there on that page. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can see the show live, and we're pretty pretty we're going to be pretty on schedule for the next uh, few weeks uh yeah. so on thursday at 4 30 pacific 7 30 eastern time head on over to gizwiz.tv and watch the show uh you can also catch previous episodes or find links to subscribe to future episodes right there don't forget about gizwiz.biz and while you're there play what the heck is it the game show online where you could win real prizes this is the game show where we try to figure out what the gadget is. The whole gadget. Not, not, nothing but the gadget. Um, so help me. Uh, this is what we're trying to figure out for uh, this two-month segment. Um, it's pretty obvious uh, to me. Did I say this last week? It's, it, to me, this looks like a, a disco orange juicer. Is, uh, you, put, okay. you put an orange on top. You know, those ridges start. It, it, it's motorized. So that it starts to spin, but then these LEDs fire off that are inside and and light up the orange, the inside of the orange, but it's spinning, so it's disco. Wow. Disco it's like orange. A disco bullet. Juicer. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So if you think you know what this gadget is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, there are six mad magazines for correct answers if you actually do know what this gadget is, but 12 for funny, hilarious. Clever and interesting answer, so get a guess over at gizwiz.biz. Don't forget to send in your videos for the Gadget Warehouse. We love to see you guys, so send them on over. Mail at gizwiz.tv is the place to go. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>